guys, welcome back to another iOS development tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm just going to be explaining how to use JavaScript inside of Swift, uh, which can be pretty useful because a lot of things are written for the web and uh, sometimes you want to like just port a website over to a mobile app, something like that. So you might want to use like a lot of JavaScript inside. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use basic JavaScript inside of Swift. So the first thing you actually want to do is you want to import JavaScript core which is the module you want to use and then what you're going to do is let's just create our JavaScript so let JavaScript code and I'm just going to use the triple speech mark so we can go on multiple lines but yeah so inside of here uh, hang on, let me actually do this okay so inside of here let's just say we have our JavaScript code something like console.log uh, this is written in Swift in JavaScript. Yeah. So then once we have that, uh, that's our code that we want to execute. And then what we can actually do is we can do something like let context is equal to JS context, and then we want to do context dot evaluate script evaluate script, and then JavaScript code. Oh, those are actually kind of similar. I'm just going to create this JS code then. Okay, and then let's actually run this. And you might notice um, that it might not actually say anything. Let's just check. I think it might, but you can never be sure, you know. Uh, because what we're doing is we're actually using console.log, which isn't actually going to log anything in the actual thing. Uh, I don't know if this is running or not. Let me check. It might be running, so let me just print something to make sure. So yeah, you can see that the JavaScript code didn't actually print anything because basically it's just console.login, but then it doesn't know the console.log is actually print. So what we want to do is we actually want to uh, return a value. So if we do something like return, this is written in JavaScript, and now what should happen is it should actually print this to the console so let me just wait oh, guess that's not going to work for some reason uh, but basically another thing I wanted to show you was if we just get rid of this code let's just actually create a function so I'm just going to call this uh, const function in JS and it's just going to be a function takes in no arguments and and we can do that and then basically let's just return our string here so I'm just going to return uh, this is written in JavaScript okay so once we return that we can actually call this function from Swift so this is even more useful because it means we can call specific functions so let's just call this let function in JS is equal to context dot object for key uh, for key subscript and this is basically just the name of your function so I'm just gonna tell this is function in JS we probably shouldn't have the same word so I'm just gonna call it funk in JS okay and then once we have that uh, okay and then once we've done that we can actually just get the uh, return value so let return value is equal to function js dot call and then we can just not give any arguments because our function doesn't actually take any arguments and then oh and then we forgot to oh. and then what we can do is we can actually just print this return value so if we do that you can see oh why has it said that do I have to do something like this Hmm, that's weird. I thought that this was going to call the function. Uh, uh, let's see. So maybe if I didn't evaluate it right, I'm not actually too sure. Okay, let's just check if the context is working. So I'm just going to print the context just to make sure that, oh, just to make sure that this isn't nil or anything. And. 
get rid of that. Okay, so the context isn't nil. So now let's just print the function JS. Just making sure. And okay, so it's not able to find a function. Okay, that makes sense. So it might be because I've declared it like this instead of using the var keyword. So maybe if I declare that, then I just uh, do this. Maybe that's going to work. Oh yeah, okay, so there we go. So the issue is I used const, which is basically constant in JavaScript. And yeah, so you can see that we've got our return value. This is written in JavaScript. So this is the JavaScript code, and now it's just being called in Swift. So if we want to build on top of this, let's say we want to create a simple function in JavaScript. So far, uh, add to numbers and create a function. Uh, actually, I'm going to add two strings because I do not want to get into converting into numbers and things. So we're going to take enough string, so string 1, string 2, and as you know, JavaScript is dynamically typed language, so there aren't really any types. So if I just return string 1 plus string 2, and now we try this again, so uh, let's two strings and equals context dot object for keyed subscript and I'm just gonna use add two strings I forgot the yes and here let's actually pass in our thing so I'm just gonna call this let return value two equals two string func dot call with arguments and then let's pass in our arguments so we can have the string one which is going to be hello and then string 2 which is going to be there and I'm actually going to put a space in between and then let's just print the return value 2 and yeah you can see it added them both together we passed in arguments into this and it returned it so if you have some JavaScript code which you need to put into Swift you can just copy and paste it and then call the functions like this but yeah thanks for watching and that was how you use JavaScript code in Swift see you guys in a future tutorial bye